What is good people? It's your ghost. I'm coming back at you with another video today I wanted to talk about ISO aperture and shutter speed with ISO It's gonna let more light in but also more noise if you crank up that ISO It's just gonna get really fuzzy really quick But sometimes you have to if you're trying to shoot like stars or something You're gonna need more light So that's one way to do it is just to crank up that ISO number right now I have it at a 400 ISO so it's not super fuzzy in some areas, but it's definitely got some noise if we were to zoom in really far you could start to see some of that noise and if I crank it up a lot it's gonna get really noisy really quickly the second one is gonna be aperture that has to do with how open is that lens right now we're at a 4.0 this is a Canon 50 millimeter and it's at a 1.8 and you can just see exactly how much light that lets in the more light you let into the lens itself the better the image is going to look and then you can tweak that adjustment using some of these other factors so if you have a lens with a very low f number it's going to allow more light in but then it's going to blur the background so if you want to have a nice clean you know crisp image from the background all the way to the foreground then you want a high f number but that means you're going to need more light in the image in order to see that otherwise you're going to have to crank up that iso which is going to make it noisy so there's there's some give and take you either have a lot of iso and a noisy image or little iso but you need a lot of light you either have a blurred background and you don't need a lot of light or you need a lot of light and you don't get that blurred background anymore the last factor is shutter speed which you really don't change when you're doing a video when you're doing a video you take the frame rate and then you double that and that's going to be your shutter speed when you're taking a photo it really depends on what you're doing and what's going on i mean personally i try to keep my shutter speed kind of low because the higher you crank up that shutter speed it's going to start to darken the image and then you're going to need more light so if you need more light that means you either need a lower f-stop number for your aperture or you need to crank up your iso and remember we don't want to crank up the iso because it's just going to make it noisy so there's some give and take with this typically you would just double it for a video but if you're taking a photo you're going to want to have that at like a fast shutter speed if you're taking something in motion you know if you were to shoot like a, a sport event everyone's moving around and you want like a nice clear picture you're gonna have to have a very fast shutter speed but yeah you can look into all this stuff and you know do a little bit more research but I just want to give you like a really quick tutorial and understand what exactly is going on with these numbers and how you can use them to increase the quality of your production peace